Well, after the flood, uh, we knew we couldn't recover by ourselves. So one of the things we learned is we're going to need to form partnerships with the private sector, with the public sector, various levels of government, the nonprofits, the neighborhoods, if we we're going to have a full recovery. And because we did that, uh, Cedar Rapids came back strong and, and we're better than ever. Now going forward, as we're trying to work on flood control, which is a combination of flood protection and also trying to make sure there's clean water, um, we thought, well, let's continue this effort of building partnerships. And so this, uh, this effort that we have working with uh, uh, various uh, nonprofit groups and, and business sector, along with uh, local governments, is we think is the best approach. Okay. Well, a lot of people know Cedar Rapids as I was the second largest city, and maybe people have flown out of the airport, but they probably don't realize that the city of Cedar Rapids uh, is one of the largest farmers in Lynn County with uh, almost 2,000 acres, a little over 2,000 acres. So we're going to be dedicating part of uh, that land to uh, conservation practices. We're going to do some uh, testing as far as runoff and partnering with Iowa State on uh, strips and uh, we're also going to be working with the University of Iowa on uh, biofuels. So we think uh, we're, it's a great opportunity to work with uh, two outstanding universities on biofuels and uh, conservation practices. Our airport sits at a unique position to where uh, part of the land runs off into the Cedar River and part of it uh, into the Iowa River. Um, so we're looking forward to, to working with our great universities and having an impact uh, on water quality and uh, uh, water quantity.